Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is the last day of the month which means it is time for the show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share with you what came in my P.O. box for the month. Most of the time, these are show us your sheet load cards where viewers send in their takes on sheet load. I also get some fun packages and cards just because, and I like to share those with you as well. Now, if you're ever interested in sending a card just because, my P.O. box is always listed at the bottom of the description box. And if you would like to show us your sheet load, I have a video with all of the details. You can do a YouTube video, an Instagram post or send in one for this end of the month video. The sheet load guidelines or the show us your sheet load guidelines video will be linked in the description box as well. If you're interested in seeing what subscribers have shared here on YouTube and over on Instagram using this month's sheet load of cards, I will have links, you guessed it, in that description box. I know that each of them would love for you to stop by, see what they created and leave them some love. Let's go ahead and see what came this month. First up today is a postcard from Toby, who you might also know as Biddy Penny. Last month I received some postcards from my crafty Irish friends, and I said that it would be so fun to create a display of all of the postcards I received. Toby answered that call by sending me this lovely handmade postcard. Thank you so much. Next up was a package from Noreen, my crafty South African friend, and she actually sent two envelopes, one for me and one for my sister, and I will definitely get that to her. And inside the envelope for me was a beautiful Christmas card here on the left, and then in the center card she wrote me a lovely note and included this cute giraffe stencil. I cannot wait to get that inky, Noreen. Thank you so much. Amy R. sent in an example using January 2022. I love the bright colors on this and that adorable bird focal point. Thank you, Amy. Cheryl S. from Utah rewound it back to December 2019 for her card that she sent in. I just love that red buffalo check with that pretty butterfly paper. Thank you so much, Cheryl. This next card is from someone pretty special in my life, and that is my mom, Gloria J. from Iowa. She has used, I believe, the December paper pumpkin kit to create a card using the January sheet load of cards. Thanks so much for the little surprise in my P.O. box, Mom. Jessica N. from Florida used the January 2022 sheet load for this bright and cheery card. I love the fun bright colors and it's kind of hard to see on camera, but the top and bottom of the party hat are glittery and they sparkle so much. Thank you, Jessica. Sharon M. of Indiana sent in this adorable cactus card using January 2022, and I especially like how she has made that coordinating envelope. Thank you so much, Sharon. Karen C. of West Virginia sent in two cards this month. The one on the left with the iris folding was inspired by my nautical set that I made with the January sheet load. And then over on the right, she has used the January sheet load for this beautiful card. Thank you so much, Karen. 
Mary Gunn from Missouri sent me some fun with two ends mail this month. Not only do I have some of her personal artwork here, but on the inside was the infamous IKEA rainbow tote. If you watched my crafty road trip to Kansas City, I mentioned that when Mary and I went to IKEA, the only rainbow totes they had left were the little ones and I was kind of bummed. Well, she must have found another one and she sent it to me. Thank you so much, Mary. I am in love. If you haven't yet seen my crafty road trip where I got together with Mary, I will link that video in the description box below. Katie D from Canada sent in these beautiful examples using the December 2021 sheet load. I love those floral papers and how she has switched up the layout a little bit. Thank you, Katie. Trish D, one of my crafty Irish friends, sent in seven cards this month. The three on the top I think might have been inspired by December 2020 sheet load of cards, and then the three on the bottom were from the latest January 2022. There was also that cute little note card over on the right. Thank you so much, Trish, for the pretty cards. This next trio of cards came from someone in Ohio. Unfortunately, there wasn't a first or last name on the cards or envelope, so if these are yours, I would love to know. Please leave me a comment in the comment section below. I love all of the details on these. Thank you for sending them in. Lori K. from Minnesota sent in five wonderful cards this month that once again use various sheet loads. Thank you so much, Lori, for taking the time to create these and send them in. Karen C. from Virginia sent four cards this month. The three on the top use each of the January sheet loads from the past three years. And then on the bottom center, she has made me another sheet load of card example with a wonderful note inside. Karen is getting ready to start up her YouTube channel here. When she does, I will definitely let you know about it. Thank you so much, Karen, and good luck getting started. The package from Joan O of Denmark was stuffed full of goodness. Not only did she send me this beautiful rainbow mug of art supplies card, but she also sent two envelopes full of sheet load examples. This first one uses the December 2021 sheet load, and then the second one uses January 2022. I just love how for both sets, she has decorated the envelopes with some of the leftover paper. Thank you so much, Joan, for making the cards and sending them in. And last but not least is a package from Carmen B. of Colorado. She let me know she was sending me something special, so besides this super cute and fun January 2022 example, she has also shared with me a package of the 6x6 rainbow paper from the new Stampin' Up! celebration. Thank you so much, Carmen. You just know I love rainbows, and I cannot wait to use this. Now, if you don't already follow Carmen, her channel is Choose Joy with Carmen. I will have her channel linked in the description box below. Wasn't that a beautiful display of cards? I just love to see what everybody creates each month. Thank you so much to each of you for taking the time to send in a card with your little notes and even the special gifts. It is so appreciated. Until my next video, which is the new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.